Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Living Room Explorers. My name is Bethany and I work at the World Awareness Children's Museum in Glens Falls, New York. Today on Living Room Explorers, we'll be learning about China and shadow puppets. We'll be looking at art together and playing trivia and then making our own shadow puppets and shadow puppet theater. So behind me, you'll see some clothing from our artifacts collection. We have over 10,000 cultural and historical artifacts, as well as over 8,000 pieces of child-made art in our collections here at the museum. We also have a hands-on space for families to explore different countries and cultures, and I really hope that we'll be able to open soon so that you can come visit us. One of my favorite parts about being at the museum is that I can show you some artifacts from our collection. This is a rod puppet from China, donated to us in 2010. So the way that this works is that it would be held here on the bottom and the rods would be used to move the hands and other parts of the body. I am not a puppeteer by trade, but somebody who is a very good puppeteer would be able to make this look as if it were alive just by moving the rods. You'll learn more about different Chinese puppets in today's episode, so I hope that you'll stick around, relax, and let's learn together. Puppetry has been seen throughout China's history, and many different types of puppets have been used, including glove puppets, rod puppets, string puppets like marionettes, and shadow puppets. Let's take a closer look at shadow puppets. There are records of shadow puppets being used in performances in China more than 2,000 years ago. According to the Bill Douglas Cinema Museum's archive, Chinese shadow puppets are very delicate items, normally made from animal skin and decorated with cut-out designs and translucent dyes. They are usually so thin that the colors and the outline are both displayed on the screen during a shadow puppet show. There is a wide range of characters used in Chinese shadow puppet performances, and these shows often showcase military, religious, or folk tales. By the 1700s, the use of shadow puppets had moved northward through Europe and became popular entertainment in Italy, France, and then America after the American Revolution. China is responsible for so many things we know and love today. Besides popularizing shadow puppets, the Chinese invented paper, the magnetic compass, printing, porcelain, silk, and many other things. The official name for China is the People's Republic of China, but most people just say China. China is a large country on the continent of Asia and is home to over 1.3 billion people. The capital of China is Beijing. One third of China's land is made up of mountains. In fact, the tallest mountain in the world, Mount Everest, sits on the border between China and Nepal. China is a fascinating place. The art we're looking at today is called The Wishing Tree from Hong Kong, China. It was made in 2004 by 13-year-old Chung Wing Zi. Let's be art detectives. What do you see in this art? What makes you say that?
What else do you see? What colors do you see? When you look at this piece, what emotion do you feel? I see children enjoying some kind of celebration. I say that because I can see that they're smiling. I see a tree with decorations in it. Those look to me like oranges. I see things for sale. I see a grown-up holding a little child's hand. I see lots of bold colors in this piece. When I look at this piece, it makes me feel happy. Did you see what I saw? Or did you see something different? Great job, art detective. You can be an art detective with any piece of art you see. Just ask yourself these questions. What do I see? What makes me say that? What else do I see? Sometimes an artist will give us more information about their work. This artist tells us during the Chinese New Year, people visit their relatives and friends. Children receive a red envelope with some money in it, and some people go to the wishing tree to make a wish. What would you wish for if you had a wishing tree? Let's play trivia and learn more about China. Question 1. What is the capital of China? A. Paris B. Beijing C. Jakarta The answer is B. Beijing. The capital of China is Beijing. Beijing is home to over 21 million people and is the world's most populous capital city. The word Beijing translates to the northern capital in Chinese. It was called the northern capital because there used to be a southern capital called Nanjing. Question 2. What is the national animal of China? A. Giant Panda B. Giraffe C house cat. The answer is A, the giant panda. The giant panda is native to south central China and eats mostly bamboo leaves and shoots. They eat between 26 and 84 pounds of bamboo per day. Giant pandas are great climbers even though they can weigh up to 330 pounds. There are only about 2,000 giant pandas left in the entire world, but people are working very hard to make sure that those pandas thrive. Question 3. The art we looked at today was about the wishing tree during the Chinese New Year celebration. How many days long is the Chinese New Year celebration? A. One day B. One hundred days C. Fifteen days The answer is C. Fifteen days The Chinese New Year celebration lasts fifteen days it starts on the first day of the Chinese Lunar New Year and ends with the full moon. During the Chinese New Year, people celebrate by visiting friends and family, eating dumplings for wealth and good luck, and watching the lion and dragon parades. Thanks for playing trivia with me, and I hope you learned something. 
Let's move on to our craft. Today, we'll be making shadow puppets and a shadow box theater. You'll need a grown-up's help with this craft. Before we begin, you'll need the following supplies. A cardboard box, at least as big as a shoebox. Scissors, a pencil, white tissue paper, tape, straws or popsicle sticks or something else that you can use to hold your puppets, dark colored construction paper, and a flashlight. Once you have all of your supplies and a grown-up to help, follow these steps. First, we'll make our puppets. Use your pencil to trace or draw the outline of a character on the dark construction paper. I traced an elephant and a cat, but you can make whatever character puppets you'd like. When you're finished drawing the outline of your puppet, get a grown-up to help you cut out the puppet and then tape it to your straw or popsicle stick. I suggest making at least two puppets so that they can talk to each other during your puppet show. After you've made a few puppets, grab your grown-up again. They'll need to help you with this next part. Cut out the bottom of your cardboard box. You should keep the sides intact, but the box should not have a bottom or a top. Tape two or three sheets of white tissue paper over the hole left when you cut off the bottom of the box. This creates your shadow screen. Now for my favorite part, the performance. Make sure your room is sufficiently dark and point your flashlight at the white tissue paper screen from the inside of the box. Hold your puppets somewhere between the flashlight and the tissue paper screen and you should see the puppets shadows appear. Now you can put on a show. I can't wait to see your Chinese shadow puppets. Send me a picture of your puppets or puppet show and we might post it on our Facebook. My email address is director at worldchildrensmuseum.org. The World Awareness Children's Museum is a 501c3 nonprofit with a mission of bringing our diverse world to children. As we look ahead to the future, we're hoping to be able to reopen the museum later this year. But to do that, we need your help. If you enjoyed this program, I hope that you'll donate to our mission so that we can continue to bring our diverse world to you wherever you are, whether it's right in your living room and you're watching a video just like this, or if you come back to the museum when we're able to reopen. You can donate and learn more about our museum at www.worldchildrensmuseum.org. You can also visit us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you next time.